Okay, to make the dice box, you just need a picture frame, which we got at Target for about $4.50. It was on sale. And also make sure it is a, a deep frame. It has a good groove inside of it. Um, you can get a shadow box, a little bit more expensive, but this type of picture frame was just perfect and it was on sale, so deal. Also, you need um, a piece of this foam board. This was already uh, pre-cut for what we need, but a whole sheet of it at the craft store was about 89 cents, so that's not a bad deal. doesn't matter the color of this because you won't even see this. And then you need a piece of felt, which was in the same area as the foam board. Um, a sheet of this is maybe a quarter, maybe a little bit more, depending on where you are. And this piece was already pre-cut as well. So the first thing you need to do is you need to take apart the frame here and take off the back here. But mostly, you really want to take out the glass, because the glass is not going to be needed at all. And also, you don't need a little paper stuff at all. Um, we use the glass itself to actually measure the, the felt and the foam board, so it was easier. Oh, there you go. Hi. Um, with our frame, the way that the little uh, stand is, it actually covers up the corner. So what you want to do is you actually want to remove that if yours actually lifts up. On the, on the corner. So we're going to get that taken off and I will show you how to assemble it. Okay, so the back of our frame we have the little, we have this piece taken off so you don't even need that anymore. You can toss that along with the little hinge thingy. You don't even need that. So you take your felt and your foam, just line those up as evenly as you can and you stick that into your frame which by the way you can paint the frame or whatever you wanted to with it before you put this all together but we're just going to keep it as simple as possible and you stick your backing back in there ours has a little groove here it goes into sets in do that and you have a little dice thing this is a little the folks felt a little loose in mine but um that's basically how we do it if you wanted to you could even Use maybe a little bit of like spray adhesive and put the felt down into it. But that is it. Then you are ready to roll some dice in there. They don't go all over the table. They don't spin all over the place. You can do them any color you want. I did one earlier in the teal. We have a purple one. And also, one last thing is, is if you want to, you can get these little rubber feet. Our uh, table is not that bad, but if you're going over to a friend's house has a really nice wooden table, I was just putting these little feet on there so that we don't scratch up their table. Also, it prevents your, your tray from sliding around at all. But doing that, it's a dice tray under $10. Super simple to make, and you can probably do it in less than a half hour.